episode, we finally get a load. Get some stuff done around the house. And uh, spring break, we just might hit the beach. Stick around, find out. T-dubs may be some awesome eggs. Uh-uh-uh. There's a seasoning called Spike that my grandpa used to use. I introduced it to uh, T-dubs. She likes it a little bit, but not as much as I do. Reminds me of grandpa. Up oh, two beggars. Yeah, let's get back to looking for loads again on a Thursday. Oh, yeah. Obsessed with drones. Don't know when he ever will not be obsessed with drones. Got it going? Yeah. All righty. Is it going to move? Oh, it looks like it is moving. I see it move. Okay, don't hit Murphy, and don't go any higher than that. Just go back and forth a little bit. Like this? Yeah, oh, yeah, like that. Then go sideways. There you go. All right, Mr. DJI drone. Wish I was flying my drone over a cool work site. No, you can't. No, you cannot see the school bus. Too far away. Stay right here in the middle. Okay. Thank you. Got a delivery notification. Something cool showed up. Beautiful day out here in South Carolina again, again guys. The bees are out, the wasps are out. We're gonna get some wasp nests or wasp uh, attractors. Oh, it's still open? Yes. Is that mine or yours? Oh, you got something. Matching bikinis. Oh, for my us. goodness. Look at T Dub's hair today. She called it the what? The Kelly Kapowski. The Kelly Kapowski. That's what you always call me. <laughs> Zach Morris. I like Slater. All right. But yes, beautiful day. We got some parts coming for the big boy. Oh, goodness. And maybe I'll drive this today because it's so gorgeous. But what I got coming in the mail is for that and a golf cart. Do you want to see it? Oh, yeah. And Matt's is coming up, guys. Not this weekend, but the weekend after. We have uh, soccer practice tonight. I'm so excited. It's going to be fun for Case. For case. Let's see what we got. So we're... Oh, here, my goodness. Here are your shorts. Jeez, and here's my bikini. You will match. So we're going to Cancun again, guys. We loved that uh, Hard I'm Rock so Hotel. So summer. for our 10-year anniversary, we're... Going there for August, if any of you guys are bored. And then this is what I got right here. Yes. Yes! <laughs> you don't I know about this stuff, guys? Too. I know I do. Fuel fragrance. It's, it's like 20 bucks. You can find like so 17 some places, 18, but uh, you put it in your fuel tank just a little bit and it smells so good. <laughs> you have to compare these on for me. Okay. Hi, we are home from school. It's officially spring break. Woo! Woo! Yes, yes. Locks house? I don't. Think you, you can't go in his house, no. But if he comes outside, you can play with him. Tiki, I hear. I'm still with you, buddy. Okay, you can knock on his door, but do not go in his house. Okay. okay. Kylan has a, a thing with just walking in people's houses. All right, spring break starts. Well, on this beautiful day, it's time to get the chairs out of the way. Take this uh, I rock for a little spin. Oh yeah. Fire in the hole. Was a fun little run. Oh yeah. Cash, we got you something. What? Chocolate coins. Uh, he didn't want chocolate coins. It's Easter. I don't know. Well, we're uh, getting on the freeway with a chair hanging out the back of our car. She ran over the whole middle median earlier. And the police officer in front of us like, "Yeah, good luck. <laughs> See ya." And we're on our way to soccer practice. So here we are, day one of soccer. We got coach, coach's daughter. There we go. What did he say? He said, Casey, you're so good. <laughs> That's good. Supportive, brother. Yeah, beautiful sunset. First day of spring break. My goodness. <laughs> it is pouring out here. Lots of lightning. Yikes, yikes, yikes. All righty, see what tomorrow holds. No loads though, again, same old uh, 1200 to Orlando. So we're watching Peppa Pig and hanging out inside. No luck with the good old um, loads since Thursday, guys. It's been, it's been a rough week. But not only there's not that many loads out there, there's just, there no, there's not prices on them either. So we hit soccer practice. Um, I had tried those shorts on 
I think we're going to be able to get to use those shorts because it's spring break now. Like we said, um, I took that out for a ride on Friday, Thursday night. Smells good. Pina colada. Uh, I took it for a little ride to see some buddies. My buddies from the concrete. Um, but yeah, we finally got a load. I was, I was at Walmart just now. We just un unpacked the, uh, the good old mama car. Got it all loaded up again. And um, this load popped up and then it went right away. Like right as it popped up on Truck Smarter, it was gone. So I was like, man. And it wasn't that great. It was like $2,000 down to West Palm. And I have to go by Lake House to pick it up, but it's a light load. It's a good old first quality. I was like, oh man, wish I wish I would have got that. Would have been something. I'm just trying to get something to Florida to go hit the beach, uh, take T dubs to get some more sunburn. You hey. know it. You know it. <laughs> I am a very nice shape. Yeah, she's not bad anymore. But, anyways, uh, it was gone. And then we went outside. We forgot these wasp traps that we had to get. So we went back in and got the wasp traps. And um, I walked in the door with Kylan because T dubs forgot to leave me her keys to start the car. To go get her again and uh it popped back up i was like Whew. and it was 200 dollars increase so for 2200 i was like man i will take that so there was a shortage of bananas today at the walmart there was like none i know and we also got we also got a hummingbird thing and some wasp spray but anyways yeah we got a load we're going to go to west palm area probably stay at cocoa beach let the boys have some spring break fun on the beach wow. right before uh mats but here's t dub to tell you about mats and i think we're going to make keyword number three beach or keyword number five. So, you hear that, babe? I'm sorry. Keyword number five is going to be beach. Perfect. Cool, cool. All righty, but we got a load. Hope you guys had a great week. It doesn't pick up till tomorrow, but um, I'm just grateful to get something so these guys can go enjoy some of that. We are going to be at Matt's 2024 this year, and we've partnered up with safetyauditprep.com once again to be able to give you guys some money. We're going to be giving away a $500 gift card on Saturday, March 23rd at 1 p.m. We ask that you look for the five keywords in the videos. Please be a subscriber and be in the chat. I want to give a big shout out to Bo and Crystal for always partnering up with us to be able to bring back some money to you guys. Thank you guys for all your support and we look forward to the giveaway. Well, thank you, T-Dubs, for telling us about Matt's. And uh, T-Dubs loves the hummingbirds and I guess they come out March 15th. I'll get it, babe. So she got another hummingbird feeder. Oh yeah, and the boys are over here doing dirt bike stuff. You guys dirt biking back here? Nice. Made him a little uh, new track, like you saw. Hello, Murph. All right. Just sitting here again with the dubs, and uh, we were just thinking about it today, it's 316, all, all glory to God, and this is the day we bought our house mm -hmm. six years ago. Crazy, things have changed. Crazy things. Got two different crazy. Well, we still got Tiki. Tiki's an OG. Yeah. But we're eating some Walmart uh, salads. Got one of the rotisserie chickens for five bucks. Get some food, and I hear dirt bikers out here. They would switch to gas now. Mm. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I didn't have that idea earlier in life. Make them a little ramp to go down. Welcome back, dude. Yeah, Kai. He is so scared to go up that before. Uh. <laughs> All right, to the park later, fly some planes. Sound good? Park now. park now, well, let me eat my food first, okay? Good job, God, I'm proud of you. I, that was he was good. scared to go up there, now Did he's doing it. Did you see the mud flip up? Oh yeah. It was so funny. Look all the way down! <laughs> Pick up the grass. Oh, yeah. I know what. Good old Dubs has been complaining about uh, this switch, which is, used to be a timer. I think our kids broke it. Actually, my brother accidentally broke it. Your brother broke it. It Sorry. was an accident. Well, brother broke it. Uh, just turns on this light, but T Dubs wants the uh, extra light. So I said, okay, let's get a new one. And I said, let's turn the power off her. She said, sure. Come back here and turn the breaker back on. Oh, right. No matter what I do, uh, I reverse the common. I don't know if the black and white are common. I'm trying to figure that out. Not an electrician by trade, but uh, it's tripping the breaker when I turn on the switch, the new switch. So don't know why. Tried a bunch of different combinations. Hello, Casper. But on top of that, for fix the house day, um, I'm trying to fix this faucet. This thing's been leaking for the last year. Just barely, so she'll, T-dubs will use like pliers to get it tight. Well, yeah, because it doesn't actually leak unless, unless it what? leaks when you use these. Yeah. Oh! So yeah. Well, it's just a little bit of water. So I turned off the main water. <laughs> this is the old one. It's just like a little valve. 
but I don't see anything that wears except maybe this um, O-ring, mm. but new one goes, well, it should fly. It's easier than we thought it was gonna be, though. Seats sets right in there, and then this tightens it down. You gotta make sure that's nice and tight. But it comes with this little thing, and it talks about quarter stop, quarter turn, and I'm like, uh, all that genre. Well, those weren't in there before, so I think we'd leave them out if we don't want a quarter turn stop. I don't know. But these would go right in here, and like, I guess it's like a quarter stop. I don't know. Either way, um, I think I'm gonna leave those out and tighten these down, turn the water back on, and see what we got going on. But pretty easy. Just gotta find the right one. 17 bucks a piece, just for the, <laughs> just for one of these old deltas. Oh yeah, because this tub won't turn off all the way. So, all right. So you said the tap in your room wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Because oh, they had turned off the water. But now we're back on. So this house was built in 2006. I guess it just those things wear out all the time. So T Dubs does not have to use the pliers anymore. She had to get it like super tight because it would continue to drip. And now it stops. Drip, drip, yeah, drip. no more drips. No. I like it. And your water's working again, okay? I promise. Yeah. Flying planes at the park? Yeah, would, you, would you like to do that? Are you tied a knot in your tail? Yeah, no more drips. Okay. Well, that dripped. <laughs> <laughs> it would drip like consistently over and over again. <laughs> and now we fly planes. Let's do this. Okay. Launch. Way better than last time. Oh, Case is coming in for a little. I landed. There you go, Cash. You want to see me land? Yeah, please do. Gosh, you're good with this thing. Are you ready? Yep. Yeah. Good job, Cash. Okay. Wait, wait. Remember, I told you hold it right here. Hold it with two fingers right there. So, Cash. Yes, you can. Oh, you wear mine. Um, last time you. Can you see? I can see fine. Yep. Last time, Cash. Where'd your plane go? No, where'd your last plane go? The red one. <laughs> just got so high that it just caught the. Caught the wind stream and it never came back. <laughs> and Kylan crashed away over there. All right. Yep, let's see it, Kason. All right, that's the end of a Saturday. Good job, Case. Um, get to work tomorrow. Pick up a load finally for the second time this week. And have a nice spring break. Hope you guys are too. Got a good little pump in. Now it's time to get back home. See what these kids are doing. Back from the gym on Saturday, almost night. You guys wanna go park again? Yeah. All right, let's go. Back. You're back. There you go, Case. <laughs> Made it back to the park hitting some balls. And we got a great retriever over here. Oh yeah. We got two great retrievers. Oh goodness. <laughs> Gorgeous sunset too. So guys, I might have uh, had a three-way switch on here. I had to go get a two-way and then I had to figure out which wire, but uh, yay, we're back in. We're back working. We're back, back in business. business. Oh, I wish goodness. you said the same thing at the same time. Yeah, it was it was it was a hard struggle. So we got the uh, tub fixed, the light switch for, for T Dubs, and uh, yeah, you, welcome. Thank you, thank you. And we're gonna take T Dubs out for some karaoke. Rolling on to the next day, I'm we have. Ooh, we're playing. We're finishing up our Monopoly. It's my puppy. And uh, then we got a birthday. Yep. yep then we go pick up our load. It is 1230. It's Landon's birthday. Landon's birthday. Yeah, we start okay. Took the little Camaro out for a quick gym session. Look at those gold shoes. What? I love those shoes. Huh? I like
like those shoes. Yeah, I'm taking them to the birthday party. Oh, cool. Uh, let me park this thing. Okay. You can't hang out the door while I park I it. You're crazy, boy. Uh, something, something, an accident happened. What happened? I think so. Ah. All righty. Thanks, Camaro. Yeah, but I brought you guys here when I was pregnant with Kylan. Birthday is at some place called Rise or something? Defy. Defy. I don't know. It's just Defy. Where's my vehicle going to Okay. Be Landon's birthday. Let's, Let's go. go. It's called Defy? Okay. Case, where's that giddy up, dude? I to <laughs> those shoes. Stop. So these shoes, Gigi bought them for ca cash, yeah, yeah. but cash has a giant foot already. It'll fit by the time they came. <laughs> okay. All right. Where's the car? Guys, look at this place. What the heck? <laughs> Zip lines. Right. Basketball courts. Like what? This place is awesome. Good <laughs> job, Case. <laughs> was that amazing? Yeah, that was really good. Okay. Super fun birthday. Cash, I'm proud of you for doing the zip line. Might have <laughs> got might have got bribed by some. He did do the zip line. He bucks. And I didn't even film it because I was helping him get on it, but dang it. But St. Patty's Day, so Cash is rocking Lucky Charms. T Dubs wanted to wear her shamrocks. Oh. And we're gonna go to Voodoo Brewery. Okay. I think Papa's here. Coins? Awesome. Oh. Yeah. And then once we're done here, I will get over to the truck and go get my load picked up. Damn. Well, dang. Okay. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go get the truck loaded so we can go to the beach. Okay? Yeah. I'll be right back. Love you guys. Happy St. Patty. Let's go. There's a good old pool. T Dubs was all oh, called me before she got home and said, Hey, did you see what happened? And I said, No. <laughs> uh, we got home, I guess, right before a car um, crashed out here. So, well, T's and P's hope they're okay. But I heard the ambulances. I heard a bunch of sirens, but I was already home. I was in the backyard playing with the boys. So, getting it all ready for tomorrow. Let's see what happened out here. T's and P's, everyone's okay. Yeah, we definitely have something going on. Lady is going back to her car. Man, oh man, I don't know if she witnessed it or what, but she's in peace. Woo. Upside down Honda Accord. It looks like they have some pieces right here. Did they hit this car? Ah, uh, yeah, they tagged that car just a little bit. Man, T's and P's, be careful, guys. My golly, boo golly. It's been a while since we uh taken these girls out, or the big girl at least, so. It's pretty trip real good because we're taking a long one down to Florida. Oh yeah. Our turbo is still here. Nothing's cracked, bent, or broken. We're looking good on this side. Fuel's looking clean. Oh, oil is looking good. Oh yeah, right on the full mark. Thank you. I think we're ready to fire, guys. Let's go. Batteries were a little bit weak. Should use that green APU, but didn't know I'd be sitting this long. Back on the road again. It feels good, even if the load's not great. It's going way down there, West Palm, but uh, should be an easy drop. That should be an easy pickup right now. Also, even on Sunday, first quality is a great shipper. So, just grateful to have some. I was trying to get some Daytona. Even like down to Savannah for just a little bit of beach getaway for spring break for these boys. So, bless and grateful that we got uh, this one. I'll have to do a little bit of work Tuesday night, but it's fine. Helps pay for the trip and gets us out there. It's right before Matt's kind of squeezing it.
appetite. Um, that fifth word is out for all the keywords. If you've been following the channel and have all five, uh, I applaud you and I thank you for, for uh, being a true a true subscriber, true loyal fan and watching our our, uh, our everyday life, I guess, whatever you want to call it. But a little bit of way for us to get back to you. And so that is uh, all said and done now. But we, March 23rd, the Saturday, about lunchtime, about one o'clock, we will do that giveaway, like we said, what t up said earlier. So be ready for that. Hopefully you can join us in that. And uh, somebody will win a nice extra $500 to help for uh, at the end of March, which would be awesome. Use it for whatever you need. But All right, we got some stuff done. We got some matching swimsuits. We got light switch fixed. We got the faucets fixed in the bathroom, all kinds of stuff. Now it's time to get back to a little bit of trucking and then some more family. Got the bullet colored Mustang in front of us. And we have a Tahoe Suburban. It's not a very good driver. He's been kind of swerving in and out every now and then. So we can try and get past him. And hopefully he's not going 85 our way. He's going the other way, which is good. Um, 85 should be good. Sunday should be flowing nice and easy. We got March Madness starting pretty soon. All the tournaments are happening. If you don't know what that is, it's college basketball. But a little bit of sports going on. But 70 degrees out here. Feels cooler than that. It's supposed to be like 75 where we're going. Um, so that should be good, but a little bit of chance of rain, but hopefully it, uh, it's just a quick shower and holds off. But either way, the boys will make the best of it. They will have a little bit of beach time for their spring break. And then we will get up to uh, Louisville after that. Don't know if we'll be there Thursday or Friday, but we're gonna try and make it for Fridays uh, right here on the left. Truck Smarter's throwing a little bit of a um, happy hour kind of thing, so that'd be fun at the end of the day for Friday. Come see us there. Make sure uh, it's just for drivers only. It's kind of industry people are trying to connect more with owner ops, uh, give gratitude, and just brainstorm, talk, and that kind of stuff. Think about what's going on. But it's it's kind of it's exciting to go to match right now, but it's not because the truck industry is so down. You know, it's like a um, a dark cloud over the trucking industry with just the rates and the economy and everything else, but it's still gonna be great to see all these big companies put on a good show. A lot of guys bring out some awesome trucks and uh, it'll be cool, cool to see the Green FU people again. They're awesome people and the Truck Smart people and everybody else out there. So come out there and say hi for a little bit. And uh, don't know, we might not be taking a truck up there. I have not seen a load going into Louisville or Kentucky anywhere coming out of where I'm at that's gonna make sense to, to go up there. So we might just take uh, even maybe Red Wheels or the uh, Escalade, I don't know. We will figure that out, but we might just be rolling up there by ourselves real quick and roll back. Either way, we gotta go 20 miles, get off and get this load put on the truck. It's gonna be a light load, which is awesome. First quality, they were always uh, 15,000 pounds, 10,000 pounds, awesome. And yeah, it feels good to be back in the truck. I missed it. Looks like we're gonna get a glimpse of a little bit of a beautiful sunset. If you can see through over there on the left, got the sun peeking at us. It's beautiful. And the only thing I don't like about the west side of, uh, or the east side of Florida, is you don't get the sunsets. I love uh, Tampa, the Gulf side, you get the sunsets, which is awesome. But we'll take the sunrises, we'll take whatever we can get. Just being with family, being out there is gonna be the best thing. It's been a while since I made a video. I'll probably go live, I'll edit this one when I get here. And, uh, I've been editing it already, it's halfway done, so I'll add these new clips and uh, load that one up and as it's loading, I'll probably go live and say hi to everybody. It's been a while. I mean, it's nice taking a little break from YouTube, but it's a job. I, I miss it, you know, it's when I'm not doing it. It's kind of like it's it's repetitive for me. I like doing it, but I don't, if that makes sense. I like doing it for the family and for the extra income it brings to us, but um, Sometimes it's tedious, so it's been a nice little break. But even then, I'm still taking clips here and there, but I'm not full on uh, making videos. But it's a lot easier to make videos when I'm driving because I have content, I have something happening, I have a truck stop, I have a cool truck I pull up next to, or a shipper receiver that's hard to get into or hard to get out to, something like that, you know. So just sitting at home, it's kind of like, eh, it's not really trucking, but it's still our life, still our people, still what we're doing. The truck's got a bunch of lights in the front of it, oh, it's a record. Kind of a different record, it's like a medium record. Oh, a Volvo. All right, yep, yep, yep. Exit 21, here we come. There's a little bit more of that sunset right behind Loves. That's a new Loves that's been open, say 
six months, maybe, maybe less. Uh, beautiful God's grace right there. Oh, man. God bless you guys. I hope you're having a great spring break, or you might already have one, or it's coming up. It's a nice 579. Black one. Woo, it's pretty. Coming on down. But yeah, nothing's ever happened with the uh, FLD. Nobody messed with it. It's not moved. Nobody's messed with anything. So just a weird situation with that one, one uh, Facebook person. So still get more people inquiring about it. I might just take it off and sell it when the market comes back because I don't need to sell it. It's nice to have an extra truck. I would like to have a sleeper truck as an extra truck, but um, I don't know. I might take it off. I might lower it. I don't know. Just not to worry about it. Not to have people like that doing that. Because when the market's good, it's going to sell. Someone's going to need it. Someone's going to want to run local or do something. But right now, everybody's selling their stuff. Right now is the time to get a good deal, not sell something for a decent deal. So, <laughs> If you're looking to buy a truck or a trailer, you might want to buy it now in the next, I think we still got a, a year or so before, if we're lucky, this uh, economy might start turning around and you know, we might start thriving again as a country. I don't know. We'll see. But, yeah, I just want to show you that sunset. I'm grateful to be running this thing. We're all, by the way, on this trip, we will get 800,000 miles on this truck. We're at 798.995 right now. So down and back to where we're going West Palm, we should hit uh, 800,000. Oh yeah, there's that sun. I love sunsets, guys. I don't know why. It's just, it's just God's grace, you know. Beautiful. Alright, we'll ride it until that goes away. About 8 miles and we're getting off the highway. more sunset pic. <laughs> you know me. She's about to sneak away behind the horizon. And we should be seeing it rise tomorrow morning because we're going to leave early morning. We should see it rise off our left side uh, heading down 95 tomorrow. Almost 7.30 at night. Or, yeah, 7.30, sorry. And we still got a lot of sun. The good old daylight savings helped, but man, used to be 5 o'clock. It was dark at <laughs> 5.30. Goodbye, sunset. Let's cruise around here and we'll cruise to Anderson, South Carolina. There we go. There is our exit 60 QT. Pretty full for Sunday. No uh, parking, nothing at all. Corn auto right there with a steel coil. Yeah, it's pretty full. Okay. Trucking might be still going at least, but just uh, not going very well. At least going well for the uh, contract companies, but not the spot market. No, no, no. Oh, that beautiful lake. The sun shining off it. My goodness. It's actually above full pool right now. Oh, it's so pretty. You guys can't see to the right, but that orange sky just going to reflecting off that lake water you know what i mean it's just orange everywhere it's beautiful can't wait to get back there and get some lake days in the summer we'll do some beach days first though but yeah it was above full pool they actually did a um, had a lot of rain that one day but they did a flood test where they released all the like floodgates uh about 9 a.m on tuesday would have been cool to go out there and see it but i thought i'd get a load or something but and the boys uh, were in school but did a little flood test and a bunch of people posted videos. Look pretty cool. Look pretty cool. That's when they open up the, the ducts for the dam and let all the water out. Not all the water out, but enough because it was over full pool. And I'm pretty sure it's still pretty close to that right now because we got a lot of rain. But it's definitely raised up, which is awesome. Okay, I'm just chasing that sunset towards the low. Look at old glory waving and waving in the wind. Oh, there's one of those Hummers right there, the all electrics down on the right. And the giant excursion, because Pepsi is right here to our left. She delivered a couple times. There's a giant excursion. A couple times, too, coming out of Florida. This time, though, I think we're just going to head straight back because we've got to get T Dubs and the boys home so we can regroup for Matt's. Um, if there is something, though, that pops out of Savannah and the timing's right, we will probably grab it. Especially if it's going to Louisville. We'll see. Right there on the right is also where we deliver those steel cords for the uh, Michelin 
warehouse where they make the tires. That's not where they make the tires, but that's where they store those steel cords. Big old place. You see how they made the whole car wash green? Oh yeah, save patties. Here is our queue of the McDonald's next to the stop a minute. Uh, I don't know how, it's probably the most, the uh, place I picked up the most, I would say. Got a green arrow for them so we can go. But yeah, I picked up here definitely the most, especially when the economy was great, especially when that 2019 happened, uh, there's a big shortage of this stuff. Toilet paper, paper towels, I don't know why that happened, but everybody kind of just bought a bunch of it, I guess. But this place was uh, moving to overtime, making a bunch of it, so. We'll be about 15 minutes early to our appointment. Hopefully they're on point loading us. Let's see what happens. First quality. There's that sign. Got a Landstar over here on the left. Oh, wrong gear. Let's go for another gear. There's a good one. Let's go check in. Little secret entrance right here. There we go. I've been taking loads here for so long that I've gone to two different entrances to get here. You used to have to like go to the other side of the building, park your truck, open your doors, and um, walk inside the, the gate. But now you just do it all here at the check-in, check-out place. Here we are. Fifteen, thank you so much. Door fifteen, let's go. All right. Not like a little hill. Okay. I can't remember the last load we took from here. I think it was going also to Florida. I'm not sure. Or North Carolina, I forget. You guys probably know. But oh yeah, we'll end the video here, we'll close it out, we'll get our doors open. Door 15 is going to be way down here, this is 108 right next to us. Let's go down there. I'm not sure if we're going to be the only truck here. <laughs> There's not one truck of all the trailers I just passed that uh, anybody has a truck attached. We're at door 38 right now to our left. I have never been here where there's been nobody else here. That is crazy. It was a great act of God that I got this load because it popped up. $2,000, walking into Walmart, trying to look at it on Truck Smarter, disappears. I'm like, dang it. There's 15 right here to our left. And then um, T-Dubs went to go get some wasp traps and stuff, and she forgot to leave me the keys that are attached to her purse. I said, oh, okay. So I put the uh, stuff in the car. Let me go ahead now. There's no trucks here. This is the first time ever I've been the only truck here. That's crazy. But let's open our doors. But yeah, um, went back in there and just checked one more time. I was like, let me just check for this, any other loads coming up because I'm always looking. And it was back up for 22. I was like, book, book, book. Booked it through Truck Smarter. And we got it, guys. So we're the only people here on a Sunday night. It's a blessing and grateful. Thanks, God, for letting our kids go to the beach. And uh, we get these doors open and get into 15. But on that note, guys, God bless you. And we will see you spring breaking out there in Florida for the next one.